Man, I'm starving. Well, you want to get something to eat? Sure. Uh, what do you want? There's McDonald's, there's Wendy's, there's Burger King, there's Dunkin' Donuts, there's Taco Bell. Make it big. Well, Taco Bell gave me explosive diarrhea last week, and mm. I really don't want to experience that again. I, to I told you not to get it. Well, I can't help myself with a Mexican food. All right, fine. Well, so let's get McDonald's. All right, yeah, that's a, that's a safe bet. Two hours later. All right, I got the grub. Uh, all right, let's dig in. I don't think you'll want to do that. Why? Well, because that burger and fries are made of silicone, human hair, duck feathers, and fertilizer. Are you serious? Yes. You must be joking. Yeah. Well, CNN did an investigation into fast food businesses and found they use silicone in the oil to prolong the lifespan of the oil. Human hair and duck feathers to make bread dough more pliable and fertilizer to help bread rise better and be more consistent. I think I've lost my appetite. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a water. Same. Welcome to another YC Weekly, I'm Bilal. In the last scene, we see that what we see and what we are told is not always what we get. In society, besides for politics, this rings true for what we eat, specifically the fast food we eat. The reason that corporations do this is to cut costs and make that deliciously quick sandwich dirt cheap to produce. So although it may taste great and be easy on your wallet, it's laced with dangerous chemicals that can kill you, but the government says they're okay to eat. But do you really think it's okay to put human hair, bird feathers, and silicone down your gullet? Well, the FDA seems to think so. <laughs> they certainly aren't lining their pockets with fast food money, no siree. I mean, why would the government organization designated to keep edibles safe okay stuff that can kill you. I mean, it's counterintuitive to their mission, boss. But on a serious note, this stuff really is dangerous and can kill you. It shouldn't be anywhere near your mouth. Take this McDouble, for example. The buns of this sandwich are composed of ammonium sulfate, a key ingredient in fertilizer, and ammonium chloride, a key ingredient in fireworks, matchsticks, and contact explosives. I guess this is where McDonald's explosive flavor comes from. And now on to the 100% beef patty, which is a whole nother thing in itself. Because post 2011, this thing tested positive of being made up of meat trimmings that had been treated with ammonia and ground up, or pink slime as most people know it as. McDonald's states that post-2011, they stopped using it and now only use 100% USDA-graded beef with no additives or fillers. But how hard is it to bribe the USDA when they have the FDA eating out of their hands? Now, on to the cheese and condiments. The cheese is a plasticky mess that actually doesn't contain any real cheese in its ingredients. And the condiments ketchup and the veggies specifically, the ketchup has an extremely high number of fatty sugars. And the veggies, oh the veggies, they're genetically modified monstrosities that can actually cause deadly diseases like cancer because of their effects on the human body. Do you really want to eat this now? This burger is so dangerous and so messed up that it lasted for 14 years in a man's pocket unchanged after he bought it in 1999, forgot about it, rediscovered it in 2013, and it still looks the same. There was no mold whatsoever on the patty, no mold whatsoever on the cheese, or the burger bun. There was slight drying out of the veggies, but everything else was perfect and looked like it was only maybe a few hours old. The final culprit that we brought on today is the fries. Being one of the most delicious items on McDonald's menu, it is also one of their greatest abominations. Reason being, 
But a lot of the key ingredients that go into making these fries look so golden brown are the same ingredients used in cement. And those kind of ingredients keep these fries looking gold for 10 to 15 years after you've purchased them. No decay, no rot whatsoever. And after numerous experiments by TV outlets, bloggers, and YouTubers, really goes to show that something is really wrong with these fries and that they really shouldn't be eaten. So I guess you could say they're yummy, but I'm not going to, no. Don't eat McDonald's, don't eat these fries, point blank. I definitely won't be eating this swill anymore and I recommend you don't either. Sure, it tastes great and it's cheap, but after eating it for a while, you develop a slew of health problems, including cancer, diabetes, heart failure, liver failure, and pancreatic cancer, which I bet is something you don't want as a side order with your burger. Be sure to like our Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow our Twitter and Instagram, and stop eating this garbage if you want to keep on living. Thank you and good night. You heard me, your fire terminated scram. Our love can never be. We know simpatico. It's not you, no, it was never you. Don't take it hard on yourself, it was always me. I'm the problem in this relationship. No. It's you. It's always been you. And I got no plans to die today, Hellspawn. Or anytime soon. Burn in hell!